going to copy paste this time. So this short exercise here um, just shows us that there, again, um, are more than one thing that you can do for the same option or functionality in Excel. So the first thing that we'll do is highlight this table right there. And then we are going to drag and drop that table on here. Yeah. So the way you do that is you go to the edge and then you click and drag it. Now you might be asking, why in the world would you want to do that a antagal nun instead of just control X and then control V for cut and paste, right? So it really depends, no? Um, you can, well, at least now we know that there is an option for you guys to drag and drop it. Okay, always going to be that anyways. And now that uh, we are here, copy this entire table again, do control V. And then I'll copy it one more time. I will do control alt and then V. If you do control alt and V, it goes to the paste special window, just like what you have there. And then from here, you can choose whether you want to copy the formulas, long, the values, whatnot, or the formatting only. So I will choose values for now. And okay. I will again copy this. And do this control C, control V, nothing. And then go to this one, the control C plus enter. So I'm currently at P22. You simply press enter. That would paste it as well. So hindi lang control V, no? I mean, if you want to save yourselves one keystroke, you can press enter as well. One keystroke, right? Savings na yun. Okay. Copy and paste special. Now, this is what I like. No, um, Paste special na my visual so that it gives us an idea or a preview. So what you do is you go to that box, H22. You can right click and then you can see the paste special option here. And as you hover your mouse over it, may kita yung preview kung ano magiging isura niya. If you paste it, if you copy the formulas only, if you copy the formulas in the number format, formatting, values only, so on and so forth, you can also save it, paste it rather as a picture from here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go advance a little bit. Konti lang naman, just one step. So copy. And what I'll do, uh, instead of just going through the paste special part, we are going to do transpose. Okay? And just real quick, now transpose literally transposes your rows into columns and columns into rows. So binaliktad lang natin yung table natin dito. So there might be times wherein you have to do that. At least now you know how to go about doing it. Okay. Are we all good, guys? Are we clear with the copy and paste sheet? Yeah? All right. Cool. Let's go to basic formulas. All right. Now, we are not learning the... <laughs> addition, subtraction formulas, as we can see here, but it's mostly to differentiate between formulas and functions. Now, just real quick, um, I want to get some participation out of you guys para hindi tayo masyadong inaantok after lunch, no? What's the difference between a formula and a function? In your words. Yeah. Anybody? Don't be shy. Siyempre, mahihain talaga ang Pinoy, no? So, wala nagsasalita. Let me ask this instead. My birthday is coming up. My birthday is on the 29th. Ayan. That's another reason why I got a haircut. Um, sino yung pinakamalapit na birthday celebrant sa March 29th? From this group. Siyempre, naglayo on yung birthdays natin, no? I mean, nila natin, baka mamaya may April dito or February. Anybody? I wasn't born anymore. I was reincarnated, so it doesn't count. Anybody? Sino pinakamalapit na birthday sa birthday ko? 
Wala. <laughs> okay, let me do a roll call, okay? Let me do a roll call instead. Um, who was born in April? February. May? January? Okay, you guys were born, right? I mean, we <laughs> we just want to make sure. Um, okay. June? J July? August? Guys, mauubos na. Apat na lang yung buwan na matitira. Sir, I was born in October, sir. October? <laughs> Ang layo na tuloy. Yeah. So, wait. Uh, the rest of you guys, I'm assuming, were born September? October? November? December? January. Did she? She? <laughs> 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 o, diba? Muntik na siyang hindi mapanganap, right? Okay. So, Amory, anybody else closer to March than Amory? Kasi January si Amory. And thank you for being honest. Don't worry, I don't bite. <laughs> okay, sige. Amory, um, real quick, no? Uh, since you won our, well, the, the closest birthday, no? Belated happy birthday, by the way. What's the difference between a formula and a function? Um, ano ba? Formula po ay um, kinakalculate niya yung given na data. Mm -hmm. Function. Um, hindi po ako sure, pero kula na lang po. Yeah, Function, yeah. siguro po, um, may pinaperform kang um, gustong gawin dun sa data, given na data. Okay. Ewan, nala, sorry po. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. That's only really fine. <laughs> Tama naman, no? Uh, it's just that sometimes it's hard for us to really describe it in our words, no? But uh, I thank you, Emery. So formulas, sabi mo, no? Uh, it does a uh, certain calculation, something that you want for it to do, right? Functions, actually, you can do the same thing, no? Um, kunyari, in addition, just like this one. So let's try answering number one real quick. So what happens if you add C3? So this is the most manual thing that you can do. C3, D3 plus E3. You press enter and we get nine as an answer. So that literally is your formula, right? Equal sign, you start with that, right? C3, D3 plus E3. Okay. What is the auto sum function? Naman? So from here, I'll go to the home menu, I'll click on auto sum, and then highlight the same cells pretty much. I'll press enter. I have nine as an answer. But it's a different execution. Naman. Okay, let me scroll in a little bit. So this is a formula. This is what you call a function. So a function would be represented by words, naman, but can do the same thing. No? Now, for the most part, even if it is a function, when we type in a function, we also call it a formula. Kaya siya nakakalito, no? So we just want to differentiate it real quick so that when you when you uh, get from those external references, um, put in the function, you would understand na ayun ah, yun. Another reason why you want to do that is because when you insert a function, and um, this is one of the basic things that you can do in Excel. No? When you insert a function like this one, and we look up if the MT, so on and so forth. These are all the functions available to Excel and more. Okay. Yeah. So it's just important for us to differentiate now that so that when we search for it, so references, we know what the differences are. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, um, how do I, how did I do that? How did I show you the formulas? and unshow it to you so that it reveals the answers. Real quick, anybody? I'm sure one of you guys, at least one of you knows how to do that. How do I auto-magically show you the formula and unshow it to you? Okay, so by now you should be Googling or you are looking at it from your Excel. <laughs> Which is totally fine. Anybody? Mm. 
How how do you show and hide your formulas? Ayan, binigyan ko pa kayo ng keywords to search in Google. Ah. <laughs> Double click po. <laughs> Double click? Okay. Actually, yun, thank you, Daryl. Ah. Yan, yun, yan yung pinakauna natin ginagawa. No? Double click to see it. E paano kung gusto mo parang ganyan? Sabay-sabay mo siya makikita. Like this. Okay. So there are two ways. Um, Again, no, the our redundancy rule for Excel. So what I have been doing is I have been pressing a keyboard shortcut. So I press Control Accent Grave. Pambihira, Mary. Ano ba yung accent grave na yan? Sa natin hanapin yan sa keyboard. The accent grave is the key. Well, actually, yun yung mukhang apostrophe. And just above the accent grave is the tilde. T-I-L-D-E. The tilde looks like a squiggly worm. <laughs> okay? That key is right beside your number one. <laughs> okay. Now, we're all millennials here, right? T-I-L. Today, I learned that an accent grave looks like a carrot or an apostrophe. And the tilde looks like a squiggly worm <laughs> beside the number one key. Now, if you press control and the accent grave key or the tilde key, no matter how, Pareho lang naman yun, no? It would show and hide your formulas. Okay? Did, it, did you make it work? Yes? Is that helpful? Sana tapos na yung advanced session natin because of that lang, no? But yeah. All right. Good. So now that we have that, definitely, and, and even for me, you know, when I review my formulas, my functions, that definitely helps. Especially if you're trying to reverse engineer a formula. Right? Yeah. Okay. Another way you can do this. So, meron pang isang option. You can go to formulas. And kind of like what I said earlier, you can either show or hide your formulas here. Yes, we have. Okay, thanks guys. All right, so let's complete the table lang, no? Real quick, um, subtract. You can do this with me. Okay, multiply. Oops. Divide. Okay, um, so yeah, are you guys done with number five? Pretty, very simple, no? Okay, so what do you get if you add C8, D8 multiplied by E8? So let's do that real quick. Add C8, D8 multiplied by E8 straight up. Okay, just like this. C8 plus D8 multiplied by E8. Now, why are we doing this exercise? Um, back in school, in elementary, if I remember it right, we learned that we have to follow MDAS. And I'm pretty sure you've seen it in social media as well, no? Bakit ganun yung sagot ng mga tao? Bakit mali yung sagot nila? Bakit tama? It's because they followed it, no? They followed the, I forgot what it's called, MDAS, yung, yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng operators. I forgot what it's called. Anyways, basta that, no? MDAS. So it's important because um, it is by those rules, within those rules, that Excel operates as well. Okay? Now, to make it more specific, um, easier rather, um, what we want to do is like this one. No? So group C9 and D9 like so. C9, E9, group. And then we do the multiplication, E. Nine. Enter. We get a totally different answer from that. Okay. You guys are enjoying the show formulas and hide formulas, aren't you? Yep. Don't worry. Kahit naman hindi nyo aminin, I know. <coughs> I enjoy playing with it too. All right. So, yeah. Yan lang naman. Actually, we don't have to answer 8, 9, and 10 anymore. I just wanted to show you the differences of that and why that is important. Also, to show and hide the formulas as well. <clears throat> okay? Yeah. Now, um, before we go, the last one down here that we have 
is the status bar. Now, there are times where we don't necessarily have to do a computation. We just want to see what the numbers will look like. No, If, let's say, we add this up. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious. No, it's 24. But if you want to see it, you can also do that using the status bar here at the bottom. So you have your three functions here. Average, count, and sum. Sum, of course, adds them all up. Count would count how many cells you have selected na may laman. And then average would be, well, the average of the numbers that you highlighted. Okay?